as a heads up for this one, eh, not flashing per se, but I do zoom in and out of the canvas quite a bit and I rotate the canvas a lot as well, so it's not going to be too bad. So this, of course, is one of the monster sketches I did for Monstober in 2020 uh, over on my Patreon. Uh, patrons get to choose which sketch gets a render. Of course, for October, it was my birthday, so I got to choose, and I chose uh, the sexy necromancer. Uh, so for this one, I wanted to go with a lineless piece because October was very busy and I had a lot going on. So I didn't want to have to deal with doing line art because I don't like doing it. Uh, and I've been doing some other lineless stuff on other pieces and it always turns out looking really uh, interesting, if, any, if nothing else. Um, and I think this one turned out really great. It's also like so satisfying to have huge swaths of color just pop in. It's very... Very nice, because you feel like you're getting a lot done in very little time. As far as this sketch goes, uh, not too much of it was changed. I did have to uh, mess with the left hand a bit. You saw there was a an under sketch of a different hand that I filled in, because the other one just looks so busted. I'm not sure if it shows up in the speed paint, because it was a very quick decision. Um, uh, here, oh, here you see uh, me trying to figure out how this tiara actually works and then just deciding that it doesn't matter <laughs> because it really doesn't. <laughs> um, but so uh, you can kind of see that the bones are an off-white, like a, you know, an actual bone color. Um, and I kind of toyed with the colors like for a brief second of deciding if they were going to be white or off-white uh, because the skin is so pale. And honestly, I think that the, the bone white actually turned out pretty good considering the rest of the color scheme kind of adds like just a little bit of warmth for contrast. And having, having to think about the colors of some of these pieces, because I did all of these sketches in black and white, um, so having to think about colors for some of them has been really interesting, this one included, um, because, you know, the values were pretty clear in the sketch, but then when you translate that to color, sometimes the value can get lost a little bit, um, and it can sometimes be that you need to change values too a little bit. Uh, right there, unfortunately, uh, I think that I was doing something in the piece that wasn't particularly interesting, so I was like, oh, I'll just not record this and then I'll remember to turn the recording on. And of course I didn't remember to turn the recording on, so kind of a jump forward in progress, sorry. pretty happy with how the metal jewelry came out. Shading and doing the lighting on metal is something that I have struggled with since, you know, freaking day one. Um, so it was really, really satisfying to have those uh, turn out looking like actual metal and not like too uh, hyper-realistic, because that's the other thing I run into when I do metal, is I can't stylize it. Uh, as mentioned in the intro, uh, I do zoom in and out pretty close on this thing. I know that you're really not supposed to get too close into stuff because you can get really precious and kind of get super hung up on things that nobody is even gonna see, <laughs> uh, which is easier to remember than it is to actually do sometimes, so sometimes on some days I succeed and some days I don't, so, you know.
And here I am making a new selection of the whole figure uh, to put in a glow effect behind, uh, which is just putting a color behind the figure and then blurring the absolute hell out of it. So I found this skull brush on Clip Studio Paint's asset store, and I'm almost positive it was free. Either that or it was like 10 or 15 clippy points. I went on a shopping spree with my clippy points uh, when they were about to run out. So I don't remember how much the skull brush is. Um, but I kind of selected a couple of skulls out of it. I, I'll do one more later. Um, and I erased all of the line art uh, and all the black in it essentially. Uh, to just make it a solid colored skull. And at first I was thinking that it could be a highlight inside of the, the goop. Um, but, you know, the swirls, they just didn't work. And sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't work. And, uh, so since I did this over the whole month, um, uh, we're about to switch into a different sitting. There we go. Smooth, smooth transition. Um, so basically, in that last chunk, I was just working the hell out of the skulls and the swirls, and I was not liking how it was turning out. So, you know, I stopped drawing, and I came back to it later, and I had a better idea. And the better idea turned out to be better, so... Sometimes that's just how it works. You gotta trust the process. And sometimes you gotta get up and take a few days off from what you're working on. Ugh, I love drawing goopy tendrils and things. <sighs> I'm like not a creepy, spooky artist, but man, when I do, it's so enjoyable. And this I did to make another uh, selection uh, of the body um, because the last one I obviously became a glow effect so I had to redo it uh, in order to do some lighting some uh, a little bit of room lighting and technically the goop is the light source it kind of I kind of lose the the plot a little bit on the lighting but um, the piece turned out looking really good, so in the end, that's really all that matters. Oof, we're about to, like, really live in Titty Town for a minute. Uh, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to underlight the boobs, and I will tell you right now, all of this, all of this goes away. And then kind of doing some final adjustments to the glow effect and background and blurring some of the lighting just a little bit to get some hard and soft edges for uh, contrast. But uh, she's pretty much done. Just got to throw the watermark on there and call it good. Thanks to my patrons, Lainey, Will, and Paige. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can go over to patreon.com slash Elliot C. Lewis. It will also be in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching.